So I just had a shower. I've had my coffee. I had grand plans of getting up and doing yoga first, but I fell out of that habit and it didn't happen. I would like to be one of those people who gets up early and does the workout first, but I'm just not there yet. I don't know why, but I'm just not one of those let's get up at like 6am and do our workout. I need to sit on the couch for at least an hour with me coffee. <laughs> Elf. Holy hydration. I actually prefer the other one they have. It's like hemp. Uh, holy hydration. So I've had me shower. Obviously I didn't wash my hair, but I did wash my fringe, my bangs. Oh my god, the bags under my eyes. Does anybody else do that? If they've got bangs or a fringe, do you just wash them more like daily? Or oh, my favourite, sunscreen. I like to put the remaining sunscreen on my hands. Apparently, that's what you do. Now to get dressed. Health power. <laughs> She's a polvo. My sister's working from home, so if you can hear chatting, that's what it is. Then I'm using probably my favourite lip liner, which is NYX in Peekaboo Natural. And then I'm using L'Oreal Lip Crayon in Caramel Blondie 102. Done. And then just to set the makeup, I just use my Mario Badescu facial spray. <laughs> we 
sounds like excuse me while they're out to get ready. So I'm ready. <clears throat> I just need to put my laptop in my bag and I should probably eat something before I leave so I don't have to spend money. So we're gonna do that. But will my laptop fit in my new bag? Let's see. This is my new bag, it's quite large. Let's see, will my laptop fit in it? It's gonna be good if it will, but if not, yes, it fits in. slight change of plans because I did want to already be in town. It's all right Milo. Sort of doing some work before my nail appointment but change of plans because Milo's been acting a little bit unusual. I'm concerned about him and when he was a puppy when he was like two weeks old he had like a health scare and we thought he had parvo but he thankfully didn't so I, I'm very like on edge when something's up and He's not acting too bad, but he's acting enough not like himself for me to feel concerned. So the vets are able to see me quickly so I can get him checked over because I, I won't feel, I'll feel very stressed. Like, well, I already do feel stressed, but yeah. Milo. Aww. Finally on my way. Oh, now, update on Milo is that he's got a temperature and she suspects that he's got either a bug or a slight touch of pancreatitis, which is why he's got a temperature and he's feeling a bit poorly. I find it very stressful when the dog's not well. Oh, me water bottle. But my sister's looking after the dog, so I won't be out for that long, so a bit of a unusual start to this day. I also wanted to ask people who are American, do you have speed humps on your road? Because we have loads of them here and they're very irritating and every time I go over them it's like thanks for almost breaking my car. Um, I don't know if they've got them they use but let me know if they do. my car these are my nails if you can see them did I get much work done no yeah so I'm going over to the Georgian quarter now to have a little walk around and then I'm going back home Unfortunately, I don't live around here. I wish I did, though. It's just very aesthetic. Also, if you're wondering if you recognise it, it's because Peaky Blinders was also filmed around here. Oh my god. Hiya! Hello! She's like, leave me alone, I'm cleaning myself. Be my friend. I'm gonna get it and aren't I? See you then. Bye. Never seen someone or an animal less interested in me than I just did then.
like this hair needs to be tied back. Come here Milo. I think Milo will feel a little bit better. Come on, good boy. Yeah, you feel a bit better, don't you? Oh, give me kisses. So he's got his doggy paracetamol and he's got his antibiotics. Yeah, so I'm back home now. I got chrome blue nails. And I just thought I'd quickly show you what I'm reading, obviously. So I'm currently reading Play It As It Lays by Joan Didion. And I didn't know much about this. I've only read, I think I've only read one Joan Didion, which is Slouching Towards Bethlehem. I enjoyed that, but it was many years ago now. And that wasn't fiction. This is fiction. It's very like classic American novel set in California. And I understand why lots of people think it's like a classic American novel. And I'm really enjoying it. Set in the 70s in California and it focuses on this somewhat unlikable female protagonist called Maria and I'll let you know what I think when I finish it. I'm over halfway now but I've been having an issue where my eyes have been feeling quite strained and dry. I, I don't have glasses. Sorry if that's uneven. Yeah I don't wear glasses but I feel like since starting to have my book tube I've been on editing videos and being on my laptop a lot I, I feel that my eyes are getting strained. Sorry! And I thought I'd show you this as well. This got sent to me by Trapeze and it's called uh, obviously I'm amazing by Anushka Warden and they sent me this little mini Vaseline and I've seen a few people reading this but I don't know all that much but it's got a very captivating title and I think it's about female sexuality and the female body and the pleasures that may or may not come with it. That's all I know and I'll let you know when I read it. Oh, I love the smell of new book. I didn't do much work on the Schmollin Schmoove essay, so I need to probably do a bit of that now. And I also want to do some yoga. I'm sweating. So I'm just sitting here, not doing any work. I did just have something to eat a snack, a bean burger in a wrap. Week. and I'm currently watching the new D'Angelo Wallace video we stand but yeah I'm gonna just have a cup of tea the dogs the bebears are sleeping and I came home at the perfect time because it's currently raining now yeah then I'll do some yoga I also want to do some reading excuse me welcome back to Live with Nicole let's start today's class in the child's pose so we're and let your forehead and cross back into your downward facing dog. And then reach for your left foot with your hand out. Press your hip into your hand. Your foot with your hand. Bend. Thank you. 
showing you the human figure of this beautiful girl. I feel like I'm a bit of a genius here because the lighting in our bathroom is really shocking but this mirror obviously mirror is reflective of light and it's like made the lighting a bit better like that she, she's a genius I mean the lighting's still pretty shocking but what's she gonna do about it she's gonna wash me face take the makeup off Milo appears to be feeling better which is good I can take a bit of an exhale So this spend the day with me has been somewhat realistic because one, it didn't go as planned. We had the incident with Milo and two, she procrastinated. So, you know, you're getting realism there, but you know, you gotta take the days as they come and you can't plan for everything. I was just humming a song before. And I was like, what, what was that song from? I'm pretty sure <laughs> it's the Mario music. <laughs> you know, when you, you get the fast reward. Can you tell I'm not really that into games? Calling it a fast reward. But with the exception of a few, I never really got into them. During the pandemic, I did have a few months when I was into Animal Crossing. But then, you know, that fizzled out. <sighs> gonna use a little bit of this on my face it's the BHA power blackhead liquid from Kors RX if you can hear someone talk and it's move with Nicole who I do the Pilates and yoga stretching with I've accidentally left a plane downstairs on the TV I suppose I might as well get my pajamas on around now shouldn't I She's in her pyjamas. Next, we've got the CeraVe Retinol Resurfacing Serum. I would like to try all the retinols, but a lot of them are expensive and she's on her budget. This is just like Boutone Retinol Eye Cream. Bay, this is me Ride or Die Moisturiser. It's good for like if you have eczema or irritation and I've been an eczema girly my whole life. So De La Roche Posay, Lipocar Balm A, P and M. I find it actually funny when I'm doing my skincare on here and I'm like, who cares, Rachel? But then I'm like, who cares about anything that you do? And I personally love watching people do the most mundane things. My theory is that, you know, we, we like watching people do boring, mundane things because one, it makes our lives seem less boring and mundane, but it also distracts us from the fact that we also have to do those boring and mundane things. I can watch someone else like do the laundry and clean the house whilst I'm sitting there not doing my laundry and cleaning my house <laughs> finally we've got the i don't know how to pronounce this and i looked it up lingine and this is my favorite she's ready to go sit on the couch and watch law and order Din -din. detectives who investigate these vicious felonies are members of an elite squad known as the special victims unit these are their stories <laughs> 